On the 30th of June this year, the ILF did what it said. It enabled people to live independently, to manage their own care package to suit their lifestyle. It provided a care package alongside that of the local government. It provided enough hours of support to ensure you could live your life to its full potential. But just take a minute. Think what you did yesterday. Who did you see last week? Did you pop out to the shop? Did you see a friend, a family member? You decided when you got up, when you went to bed. Um, probably reached for something from a shelf, picked up your post from the floor, opened it. You went to work, you drove, you made yourself a drink, some dinner. All those things that we take for granted from June the 30th this year, 17 and a half thousand people with high support needs had that support removed. The ILF, it, it removed their independence, their, their life and their right to be an active member of our society. The ILF supported overnight care, personal care, both at work and at home. But that care has now been passed over to local authorities. Now remember, those local authorities, they've had a third of their budget cut for social care. So what are they going to do? They're going to make cuts to your care. Your overnight care will probably go. <clears throat> all that colour, all the details of your life will be gone. Because most local authorities are being forced to work on a clean and feed policy. Does anybody need the loo? I mean, did you all go before you came in or kind of hoping we're going to hurry up? Because they've come up with a solution. They are saying that we're to wear these. Now, this is a, a suggestion for a solution to independence. Now, you've got to remember, you are not incontinent. This is just purely a way to save money. This is clean and feed. Okay, we are currently in the middle of the change. But already, out there, there are people who have had their level of care cut from 80 hours to 11. When my friend went out to buy these this morning, there's a disabled woman out there protesting, and she hasn't had any money for four months. She's been living on toast. Go out there and ask her. She's out there campaigning.